Another news story coming into the weekend was a statement from Susie Wolf, head of F1 Academy. And that was in response to a statement made by the FIA back in December, which referenced an allegation of information of a confidential nature being passed to an F1 team principal from a member of the FOM personnel, namely Toto and Susie Wolf. Two days later, still in December, the FIA confirmed that appropriate protective measures were in place to mitigate any potential conflict. But not satisfied with that outcome, Susie released this statement. I can confirm that I personally filed a criminal complaint in the French courts on the 4th of March in relation to the statements made about me by the FIA last December. There has still not been any transparency or accountability in relation to the conduct of the FIA and its personnel in this matter. I feel more than ever it is important to stand up, call out improper behaviour and make sure people are held to account. While some may think silence absolves them from responsibility, it does not. Now, Karun, these are strong words from Susie. You can't blame her, though, because if you were to criticise someone's integrity publicly, there's inevitable reputational damage, which she needs to guard against in her position. 100%. I mean, Susie spent over 20 years building a strong, credible reputation in the sport. And, you know, she's here now running F1 Academy. She's done a whole load of other programmes around the sport. And so for her, so much of what she has achieved shouldn't be undermined by, by people questioning the credibility based on who she's married to, which is what it seemed to be what was being alluded earlier. Um, and, and I think it's, it's so important that transparency is a big part of the sport. You know, we, we often talk about it, whether it was to do with the investigations recently with the FIA, um, whether it was to do going back to Abu Dhabi 2021. There's a whole load of things that were unknown and hidden behind a, a wall there that, that didn't come out in the light. Uh, still, people feel today. So I think broadly, all of us who work within the sport, but most importantly, the fans at home, want transparency at every level in, in every decision, every investigation in the sport. And I think it's, it's good on Susie to, to try and push for that on a, on, a, on a personal level. Absolutely, because transparency breeds confidence and then questions aren't asked. They trust the process. Um, why is this a criminal matter? Why a criminal complaint has been raised? Uh, well, quite simply, in the French in French court system, defamation is considered a criminal issue. So, uh, you know, this has obviously been taken very, very seriously. And, you know, as Karun mentioned, as we've been talking about, it's about somebody being held accountable for something that's happened. And I guess this is the way Susie feels that she will get the results she's looking for. So, yeah, you know, it's it's a big decision. It's, it's a matter that's going to be handled very seriously. And, yeah, we'll have to wait to see what the outcome of it is. And it's certainly been taken seriously by Lewis Hamilton because because he was asked about this in his written session yesterday. Here's what he had to say. Here's some of the key points. He calls Susie a, a leader and in a world where often people are silenced. For her to be standing up sends a great message. I love that she's taken it out of this world, fighting it from the outside, because there's a real lack of accountability here within the sport, within the FIA, things that are happening behind closed doors. There is no transparency, there's clearly no accountability, and we need that. I think the fans need that. How can you trust the sport and what is happening here if you don't have that? It is still a male-dominated sport and we're living in a time where the message is if you file a complaint, you'll be fired. Karun, strong words from Lewis. And, uh, you know, the, the music to the ears of the likes of Susie and many fans of the sport once again urging for transparency. Very strong words. And, and, you know, Lewis, we've seen in the last four or five years, he, he's a grown-up on the grid, isn't he? He's willing to bring forward issues that are, are outside of the bubble of just cars going around around on the track. He, he talks about the wider, wider context of what's happening in the world, and it was no different. Um, whether the impact is, is felt by the right people within the sport, i.e. within the FIA, within Formula One, that is the key point here. You know, I think it's, it's great for Lewis to highlight it, and I do hope that it's, it's heard by the right people of the sport. Well, we have asked the FIA for comment. They aren't commenting just yet. Do you expect this to have an impact? Do you expect changes to be made? 
I do believe it'll have an impact. I think, you know, outside of the Formula One bubble, just even amongst the fans, there's been a lot of opinion. There's been a lot of questions raised as to how matters have been handled of late. Uh, you know, I think back in 2021, what happened in Abu Dhabi caused a lot of distrust with the audience um, and the FIA. So I think for them, it's Im incredibly important for there to be some level of transparency. We understand that not all of these issues that have happened recently can be handled in the same way because they're not necessarily all issues that the FIA have access to. But, you know, one thing we want to see is consistency. And, you know, if they're going to handle things certainly in one way, then we expect to see the same level of expectation across the board. And I think it is a question of across the board. As he said there, it's, it's about transparency all across. Stewards' decisions, right? Why don't we have a camera in the stewards' room explaining every one of these decisions? What, or, or even after the event, get them to the Skypad. Come and tell us why somebody got penalised. I think that's the sort of thing that everyone would appreciate a bit more.